Tonight we have continuing coverage on the frightening crash that caused two trucks to hit the Warsaw Elementary School on Friday. Join your sides, Andy Payton has more details tonight on where the investigation now stands. Scott Mary Alice, this is what's left of the Warsaw Elementary School Library after a frightening car accident that saw two vehicles crash into the wall here on Friday afternoon. Now investigators are working to uncover new details on what could have caused this to happen in the first place. This was the scene Friday when a driver blew past a stop sign while traveling 80 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. You know, I don't know that any of us went down there expecting to, to see what we did end up seeing. The 61 year old driver claimed the accelerator in his Ford F-150 malfunctioned, causing him to T-bone another truck and push it with him into the side of the library, just missing a class of 15 kindergartners that sat inside. It's a fairly long library. They're on the other end of the library from where the impact was. Luckily, very, we were very fortunate. The two drivers were left in critical condition and were airlifted to two separate hospitals with life-threatening injuries, but are now in stable condition. There will be uh, some traffic summons and charges pursued, uh, but right now we're, we're still letting him uh, deal with his health issues first. That's a priority. Investigators are now looking for answers, but say they can't move along with their investigation until they can speak with a 61 year old driver who is set to undergo surgery and hasn't been able to speak since the crash. Both vehicles are now in evidence and criminal charges are pending. We are waiting for the uh, what we call the black boxes of both vehicles to be downloaded Wednesday. We'll show the speeds, brakes and stuff like that for the vehicle. So that'll be a good uh, um, evidence that we'll use. But for now, some normalcy in the town of just 5000 as it's only elementary reopened its doors Monday. The community response was was amazing. I ran straight from my office and by the time I got out there, we had we had uh, first responders there. Um, the roads were already blocked off, and that was within probably within a minute. Now, while law enforcement handles the legal side of this investigation, school leadership here at the elementary is in the process of creating a makeshift library, so none of its students miss out while this one is being repaired. In Warsaw tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.